Hi, Randy, K7AGE. I thought I'd get out the soldering iron and build a kit. I've got something in this box. Let's take a look at what it is. In fact, you may want to build along. Let's take a look. For those of you who are ARRL members, you probably have this QST laying around the house. This is the uh, July 2016 QST, and on the front cover is a uh, lead article about the ZZRX40 40 meter direct conversion receiver uh, designed by Greg Johnson, AA0ZZ. It's sold by the Four States QRP Club, and uh, I bought the kit. And uh, this has been very popular. They have sold hundreds of these based on the QST article. So it's a very simple kit. Let's take a look at this in more detail. Also, if you like this video, please press the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube videos, please press the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I post new videos on YouTube. It's, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. You can also follow me on Twitter at K7AGE and on Google Plus at plus K7AGE. Quick look at the QST article. One of the first things you'll notice is that the receiver is red. The receiver's case is made out of red printed circuit board material that you uh, break apart and solder together to make the case. What's nice about the kit is that there's no surface mount parts. Everything's through hole, traditional parts that go through the holes in the PC board for soldering. There's no alignment necessary and there's no coils to wind, no toroids. Sometimes this can be a challenge for a first time kit builder. So looking at the black diagram, we see that the antenna is connected to an input filter. Now this is a fairly wide filter, and one of the reasons for that is to remove any alignment. So the filter is wide, you don't have to tune it. The filter then feeds into a mixer stage, and the mixer mixes the 40 meter signal with the local oscillator. And what comes out of the mixer is, of course, the sum and the difference, and what we're looking at the difference here in a direct conversion receiver is audio. So audio comes out of the mixer and goes to, into an audio amplifier, which can then go into a speaker or headphones. Now what makes the direct conversion receiver a little bit different from a super heterodyne receiver that you may be familiar with is that there's no intermediate frequency and no IF filters. So as you tune through a signal, you'll hear the normal lower sideband signal and you'll be able to understand what the people are talking. And as you tune through, you'll then move up to the higher frequency and you'll hear the upper sideband signal and you won't be able to uh, make out what they're saying. So that's one of the fallouts of a direct conversion receiver. Also tuning a CW signal, you will hear it in two places, above and below the signal. But it's a simple receiver and that's why it's a great one for a first time builder. Okay, let's go look at the Foursquare QRP page. It's 4sqrp.com. You'll see when you go to the home page, many different projects they have. We're interested in the ZZRX-40 receiver. You go onto the web page, it has a lot of information. Uh, it talks about a couple um, clubs that have used this for a build-a-thon. Uh, one club, the Minnesota Amateur Radio Technical Society, built 20 kits. And uh, the group at the Midland, Michigan Amateur Radio Club built 17 kits. And they say all the kits worked upon completion. So, yes, it can be done. Another resource you may want to take a look at is the ZZRX-40 Yahoo group. When I just checked, the group has about 40 members, and this is a place where people can ask questions and uh, hopefully get answers. So if you have any uh, problems with a kit, this is a place that you can get some assistance. So it's worth checking out. There's also some photos of some of the uh, uh, builders who have built the receiver. From the Foursquare QRP website, you can download and print out the 25 page instruction manual. Now, you may not want to print them all out. You can probably, you know, build this by following the PDF just off your uh, computer. But uh, let's leaf through a few of the pages here to let you see what the manual looks like. Starts off with a introduction. A uh, section talks about the features of the radio. It um, shows you what the blank printed circuit board looks like. Uh, has some initial pages. And again, everything is a, typically a, a paragraph with an with a area that you can check off that you've uh, completed that. So 
uh, follow the instructions and do things in order. Uh, a photograph that shows how the resistors are mounted on the board. They're vertical. I call that a pump handle. And it has an interesting technique for setting the uh, height of uh, some of the components on the board. They have these uh, stacks of shims of a printed circuit board material. Uh, talks about uh, the correct position for the IC sockets. Um, uh, here's a photo of the shims. You use a half a dozen of them or so and uh, these shims to hold the LED and the two potentiometers. The bottom of the circuit board is solder mast which helps reduce solder bridging when you solder and some photos of what the board looks like as you progress along. The case is kind of unique because it's printed circuit board material that is broken apart and then soldered together to build the box and the uh, pieces have tabs and you can end up uh, holding these together with tape or a rubber band um, as you solder the case together. And here's what it looks like completed. Uh, a couple knobs on the, on the front and uh, the antenna socket and a power socket and a power switch and your audio output jack on the side. And there's a theory of operation which explains how the uh, receiver works. Again with the uh, block diagram a uh, little uh, detail of the front end filter. Schematic is uh, very clear, straightforward. Uh, basically, two active uh, parts in the uh, receiver. Uh, U1, the mixer, is an NE602, followed by, again, the LM386 uh, audio amplifier. Print circuit board parts placement, and a couple pages of parts list here. So the Foursquare QRP group is offering the Ham Nation viewers discounted pricing of this receiver kit. To order the kit, first thing you do is do not use what's on their webpage. That's the standard pricing. What you'll need to do is use PayPal and use that to send money. So send $47.30. This is, covers the receiver as well as shipping. This is for US only shipments. And so you send the 4730 to orders at 4sqrp.com. And in the notes section, please add the note, Ham Nation Build Group Discount for the ZZRX40 receiver. Now, if you have any questions or you can't, can't or maybe you wish not to use PayPal, you may contact Johnny Matlock, AC0BQ, directly. Johnny and his wife are the kidders. They put, put together all the parts and send out all the orders. So they have parts all over the house. So you can contact Johnny directly at J-O-M-A-T-L-O-C-K at gmail.com. So if you have any questions about purchasing the kit, contact Johnny. Don't call me. And I just want to say uh, thanks to Johnny for working with me on uh, putting this project together to do the video of the receiver build and offering the Ham Nation viewers the discounted pricing. Okay, so let's take a look what's what's in the box here. Get it opened up. And I have two kits in the box here. So the Foursquare QRP group has donated a kit to Ham Nation and uh, this will be, uh, we'll have a little contest and give this away. So let's take a look at this bag here. Um, this is kind of neat because the bag has been sealed in these uh, horizontal sections. So in the bottom part of the bag, uh, looks like a whole bunch of capacitors. The next group in here uh, looks like a bunch of resistors and I see an LED. And this uh, next section has a, some hardware and I see a crystal and some headers. And in the top here, uh, looks like um, the ICs and sockets and some jacks and the, pot and the potentiometers. So it looks like it's all kitted out here very nicely. So here's the circuit board for the project. And again, uh, you can see it's not very large. This here is a, are all these shims and this will uh, break apart and then stack these together for the potentiometer and for the LEDs. And here are uh, a couple circuit boards. 
groups of boards which make up the box. So we break these apart. So here's uh, the top and these two here become the, uh, the sides and this here becomes the bottom and the, uh, and the other end plates. So this becomes, you know, this will make up the, the box for the receiver. So that's kind of neat. Should be nice looking. So that's all for Ham Nation today with this receiver kit build. We uh, may take a break of a week and come back in two weeks and start building the receiver. And that'll give you a chance if you would like to uh, purchase one of these kits and kind of follow along. So in the following videos, I'll uh, be building the kit and uh, we'll see how it all goes together. It should be easy. Thanks for watching, Randy K7AGE. Hi, Randy K7AGE. I thought I would do something a little different. I bought a kit and it's in this box and I thought I would make a couple videos of this. I bought a kit and I'm going to put it, for those of you who are ARRL members, you probably have got this sitting 4sqrp.com or many different kits and one we're interested in is the, and what is the Yahoo group? Another resource to look at is the R, I keep doing RX, the, for the Ham Nation viewers, the Four Square QRP Society group. Again, I'd like to say thanks to Johnny and the Four Square QRP group for donating a ZZRX 